Hey everyone, back at it here. I just wanted to show you something real quick. I've got my two and a half ton air conditioner running right now. No soft start whatsoever on it. And I wanted to show you, completely doable. I have three grow up 5,000 um, kilowatt uh, machines. This one's only running at 24%. This one's running at 19%. And this one that does not have the solar is running at almost 30%. I think the one without solar runs a little harder because um, it's not having that extra power. It's drawing strictly from the battery bank. But if you notice, I'm running an air conditioner, two and a half ton, and this little arrow over here is going down. So it's still actually charging the batteries. This one is going up. So that one's not charging. Oh, there it went back down. So this one is now charging. So completely doable without a soft starter on your air conditioner. And I'm willing to bet that I could turn off the third one and uh, it's still doable. So just wanted to let you all see that, that you don't need to spend the money on a soft starter if you have you know, three of these anyways. It's a small air conditioner, two and a half ton, not big, but you know, just something you might be interested in. And the, The auto transformer is pulling, working on seven amps right there, 7.6 amps because of the, the blower on the air conditioner. So there you go. Something to think about. See you on the next one. All right, so one more thing here. I just turned off my third inverter, so there's nothing going on there. Air conditioner's running. So on two 5,000 watt grow watts, this one's only using 34%. This one's using 39%. So you can run a two and a half ton air conditioning unit on two 5,000 watt inverters, if that's what you're doing. No soft start. All right, see ya. All right, we're really testing the system today. So what I now did was I added a window air conditioner unit on top of the central air conditioning unit to see how that would go. So we are currently pulling 28% off of this, 29% off of this inverter, and it's still charging the batteries with the central air and a little air conditioner running. Let's see what we're getting here. We're getting 15 amps off the solar. This unit is running at 25%, and this unit is running at 35%. Now that's with a central air conditioning unit and a window unit in the house. And they are still charging the batteries, as you can see on this side. See how close I can get. See this arrow over on this side means it's going down to the battery, so it's charging the batteries. Our batteries are at 74%. We're getting 16.7 amps from the solar panels. And the house is using 5.3 amps off of this inverter. And six amps off of this inverter. And let's see what's doing off of this one. And 7.5 amps off of that one. So also, let's take a look and see what the auto transformer is doing. All right, we're pushing it now on that one. That one. Now with the window unit, we're up to 15 amps through the auto transformer. But hey, it can handle 24 amps, so that should be no problem whatsoever. All right, there you go. If you're worried about air conditioning units, completely doable. All right, see you on the next one.